Know it all. You do. You do. You do. Yes, sir. It's your boy DJ Know It All, Mr. Welcome to the show. Back with another video. If you guys could please make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tap in with your boy. I'm gonna have a bunch of different stories and different content coming out. I got some mixes coming out, but today we gotta get into it. We gotta get into Extendo Drake. Yeah, that's what I'm calling him, Extendo Drake, because it don't matter who you is, your mama, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your auntie. He is taking shots if you. You are talking crazy about For The Dogs, the new album that he dropped. So let's talk about it. If you don't know Drake, Champagne Poppy, Extendo Drake, whatever you like to call him, he dropped the new album For The Dogs, and it looked like it's getting some mixed reviews, and Drake is out here taking shots at a couple of people, like he's fully loaded with the Switch, and he got the Extendo on that thing. Before the album came out, he put out a campaign to show everybody how much Charlemagne the God used to pick on him back in the day. You know, he used to call him a little girl, albino Drake. The jokes were hilarious. I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I'm a big Drake fan, but if you can't laugh at yourself, then I don't know. But since the album dropping, Joe Button took to his podcast to review the new album for the dogs. And here's what he had to say. Yeah, I just think I, I, I miss the Drake that was rapping but for the dog. rappers. I miss the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Not these little fucking kids. I don't give a fuck about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. It is. It's not hate. It's not hate. It is. It's not hate. Go find some niggas your fucking age. Hang out with them. Get some of that sauce. That's the not old, what keeps you. The, no, the that's the not what keeps you popping. The niggas fuck these music. kids. That's not what keeps you popping. And if that's exactly. the game he playing, all the old, I gotta play this game. All to the old niggas streaming music dog. and buying it, Joe. No, no, dog, all, no. All, all, that, all, that, old all that shit, all, all, all that shit y'all saying for me applies to the field. I have long before called this nigga the golden child. Different set of rules apply. Correct. He's him. He is not one of them that y'all telling me about. I don't hold him there. Dog, this yeah, album is going to be the most streamed album in Spotify there, history. Though, Who, why? When, when you that, even if it ain't good, when you that type of golden, you got the glow. You, you feel, feel the, it when, when you got that glow. When you that, you ain't you walking in with the glow. I do what I want, and that's what's going to be popping. Whatever yes. I want is going to be popping. Then Extendo Drake had to jump on his IG, and this is what he had to say. He said, you failed at music. You left it behind to do what you're doing in the clips because this is actually what pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you're watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a recipe for success. A quitter giving their opinion on how to achieve longevity. You switch careers because the things that pop into your brain had you broke and living check to check. And raps that you wrote had 450 men showing up to your shows in dusty Aniche jeans to screw up their face to Mute Music 29 and pretend that you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is the poster child for frustration and surrendering. You retired and we never hung up your jersey. We don't even remember your number. We know you for doing this. You withdrew from the rap game not because you accomplished all you needed to. It's because it wasn't working for you. I never want anybody in this generation to think that this whole everybody's entitled to their own opinion is a real thing. This is a man projecting his own self-hate and the fact that I did and continue to do everything he wanted to do for himself. If you need it put in simpler terms, I own a 766. He owns a modest house in 973 and flies first class on special occasions. Mm, and you know Drake still has some more left in the clip. I told you it's Extendo Drake. So he went back to IG. He posted some other pictures as well, too. And he said, I thank God for this life and not having to come to rush conclusions on Best Buy podcast mics. Man, it looks like Drake is ready for war out here. And now it's to see of people jumping in this thing like a double Dutch game. Birdman has been quietly in the background with the Birdman hand rubs. And he was on IG going at Charlemagne the God and Joe Button. For Charlemagne the God, he said, I thank you mean good and I respect you even though we had our differences. But I respect you, Charlemagne the God. But respect Champagne Poppy at Cash Money Official. 
He even went in on Joe Button saying, at Joe Buttons, calm down, brother. You not built for this real gangster-ish. Champagne Poppy the GOAT, cash money official. So Birdman is in here with the hand rub, and Extendo Drake is outside with it. And since all this has been going down, Joe has actually responded, and this is what he had to say. I hate that mine and his interaction has to come this way. I do. But that's kind of where he is with hip-hop media. Like, I didn't need any of these. I didn't need any of this to know how he felt about hip-hop media. So to see it play out this way, it's just, eh, eh, who knows? See, but that's what I feel like. I feel like there are people that hate this album that may be using me as some type of hate shield. I don't hate this shit. <laughs> when you're talking about megastars, they control the edit. And I'm not talking to nobody that controls the edit ever. Who the fuck do they think I am? I wouldn't do that. And, I mean, we've been doing this for a few years now, so, I mean, it's kind of just part of course. I feel like it's, like, a very concerted effort to, like, discredit your success, like, on multiple levels. Like, do you feel that way, or do you, are you experiencing those things? Because that's what it's kind of looking like on there. Revi yeah, it's, it's revisionist history for the TikTokers. You can't do it, though. Like, you can't. It happened. It may be one of those things where you had to have been there for it, but it happened. It's there. I was who I was before I got here. We don't, we're not even, we're not even in this space having this conversation about this shit if I wasn't who I was before I got here. If there was validity to it, the moment wouldn't happen. I don't even know that we get an episode on Tuesday. <laughs> I could be like the rest of these folks and just not, I could just not put a podcast out publicly on Wednesday. I just feel like the world is waiting on me to say something and they should have to pay for it. <laughs> so just to break down the critique of the new project, I feel older people expect Drake to have the Jay-Z effect on the culture, right? I think that listening to the young dudes and adapting is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Collaboration, that's the way you actually stay in the game. I love what Drake is doing with 21. I love how he used to rock with the Migos. I love how he's rocking with Lil Baby and embracing the new culture. See, Jay-Z is my favorite artist. I am one of those people that, you know, I hold Jay-Z at a higher, you know, plateau than a lot of these other artists. But Drake has never had the Jay-Z effect as far as telling people what to drink, what to wear. I just think that we're in different times now. And even though he might not have you know, taught people what to wear, what to drink, and everything like that. But uh, you definitely got to give it to the boy, Drake, Extendo Drake. He has definitely spawned a whole genre, but he was never influential to the culture like Jay-Z was. I think a lot of people try to compare Drake to Jay-Z, saying that, you know, he wants him to make older music and things like that. But we're from two different eras. Back in Jay-Z days, there wasn't even any internet. So all this IG that you're talking about, social media and all of that, never existed. The only way you would hear a review from an album was from a magazine. So, I mean, you guys can be the judge of it. You let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comment section. Uh, give your opinion. Do you, do you like the new album? Do you not like the new album? Do you think Drake is still trying to keep up with the young kids? Or is Drake still out here putting fire out? Hit me in the comments. I'm gone. Your boy DJ know it all. Y'all keep on watching and I'm going to keep on creating, all right?